G'day guys, Yosti from Iron Edge here. This week we're going to cover the deceptively tricky and downright dirty barbed wire crawl. Now granted, we don't actually have the real thing to play with here, but at least we can cover some of the exercises that will not only give you the strength and conditioning to pass the crawl with flying colours, but will give you an idea of what you're in for, as well as the kinds of strategies that you need to employ to blitz the obstacle. To put things into perspective, this is the height of the barbed wire crawl, a mere 40 centimetres from the deck. To get those creative juices flowing, you're not going to have a nice clean rubber tile here. Instead, imagine a truckload of mud and grot containing some of the foulest, actually you know what, best not to think about it. Be very mindful of those barbs, or pretend barbs in this case. Too much elevation will have you snagged, tear your hair out or leave gaping holes in the seat of your pants. So getting as far down and dirty as you can is your best bet. Just remember, every barbed wire crawl is as different as it is difficult, with many unpredictable turns and twists. Here are four exercises to help develop the level of strength and conditioning you'll need to battle through the dreaded crawl. First off the rank is an agility band bear crawl, a great conditioning exercise aimed to jam your heart rate through the roof and get you used to the confined space of being face down on the floor. Just remember, for safety's sake, don't exceed 2.5 times the original length, just mark it out before you start. Next up is an oldie but a great core goodie, the ab wheel rollout. Consider it a dynamic plank, aim to develop that high level of core conditioning needed to make a strong crawl. This will help you stabilise and coordinate that link between your upper and lower body to keep you moving low and fast. Thirdly, which is a bit of a nasty one, but great for strengthening all those muscles needed for manoeuvring successfully face down in the mud, the power vest walking push up. Maintain a strong neutral line and travel in a square. Two sideways, two forward, two sideways, and two back. Once you complete one revolution, it's time to go back again. Lastly, and to create some specificity, grab some power bands and set them at 40 centimetres high to create a wire crawl simulation. But don't damage any dining or kitchen tables in the process. Set yourself up a race pattern, charge on through, then try and beat your time each time you go through. Naturally, to give that Spartan feel, every time you touch a band, give yourself a penalty of 10 burpees. Here's a basic training guide for these exercises. Naturally, scale as you see fit, or ramp it up if you're feeling feisty. Combined with last week's program if you're really serious about being race ready. Of course, you can always throw in some mud for some extra realism. Remember, jump on spartanrace.com.au to stay up to date with all things Spartan and the Spartan Race Australia Facebook page. Check us out at ironedge.com for all your equipment and training needs.